Hey guys, welcome back to Cause 3D, and today we're going to work on R2's foot drives. So we're going to do a quick time-lapse video here in a minute of that, so stay tuned. But first, let's just get right into the build, shall we? All right, so first of all, let's just talk about the construction of these things. Um, you might be wondering why I'm not filming in my normal location. Well, I'll just show you why. The shop right now is quite a major mess, and uh, I'm, I'm working on a jetpack that's over here and uh, a bunch of other stuff going on. So it's uh, it's quite a mess, and I can't get over there. But we're filming from this location today. So let's talk about construction of these. So first of all, if you're building R2, this is not a video on a how-to. I'm just going to do a time lapse for you here in just a second. But the construction of them themselves, uh, as far as printing and so forth, um, the directions, you can download those on the Patreon of Mr. Battley's R2 droid builds. And uh, I don't need to go too far into those because they're very self-explanatory. But uh, I will say that everything is printed out of PET G and they are a, we're printed the shell, the, the frames were printed on a, with six walls and also about 35, 40% infill. I kind of experimented with some different pieces. Now, a few, there are a few pieces here that uh, these, these supports here in the middle, I did not go six walls. Uh, just anything that's load bearing is uh, six walls. These two ankle pieces up here on the top, uh, I think I did those in four. So I did cut down a little bit on uh, time by doing it that way, but I'm gonna roll the footage and uh, you can watch the time lapse of this and we'll see you in a minute. All right guys, so we are going to put our TPU tire on our hub and I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration. I've got some more than boiling water, well, boiling water, shouldn't say more than, some boiling water here uh, that I brought in from the house heated up and I've had my tire soaking in it for about five to seven minutes or so. So it gives it some elasticity for the TPU to be able to stretch around this hub. And if you don't have a vise, you can do other different things to, to make this work. But I've found that if you just stick the two pieces of wood on either side of your vise, it's gonna fight me the whole way. And we grab that tire out of that super hot water, get everything lined up so that it fits into the grooves that we need it to fit in. Get it pushed into the first, first layer anyway. And now that, that heat should have made this tire nice and uh, expand. So Zach's gonna help me here. We're gonna stick it in the vise and we're just gonna crank on it. Now it's gonna go in a little crooked. We gotta get it to pop across, all right. And then we're going to lift it up so that we can get the bottom part in nice. Should just slide right in there, but we're still too high. Bring it on up. Get the top part in. And there it goes. It does take a little bit of ingenuity to get these in, no doubt about it. But once it goes, that is it. It's in there nice and firm. So we can come back and finish our assembly of our tires.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I know it's a little bit different than what we normally do. Uh, we're not doing a how-to today. We're just kind of showing you the process of it because I thought, why not? Plus, I want to get these things done pretty quick, and it is hard to explain every single step on camera. Uh, one thing I will say is that when you're using the VEX wheels, I did have to print a small bushing that went in there to keep them from moving side to side. Um, the VEX wheels, the motors, and uh, what else do I have in this build that you might need to know about? I'll link everything down in the description. If I've forgotten something, I'll try to throw it down there as well. We thank you for joining us today, and I hope you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.